Do, do, do. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Comics Workshop at MerrickBennett.com. Thanks to patrons for making these live draws possible. All right. So uh, last week we were drawing a bunch of uh, chickadees and tufted tit mice and little birds like that. So I've got my, I'm making these into holiday cards for writing notes to my friends and I'm sending them around to patrons too. I've got my little chickadees. I'm going to keep this right here on my desk so my chickadee can watch today. And I'll start off with a little practice chickadee. Let's see, what were we doing last week? Kind of like little curved teardrops, right? Um, round head, pointy tail, and then we just kind of scribble the tail, tail feathers sticking off of there on the head. These I have black cap chickadees around me. So they have a black top. And then this collar, that's like a bib, comes out to the chin and the neck there. Then I put a little eye spot in here. I found actually these black feathers go right through the eye there. But if I do that, the bird looks really mean. Let's try that. That looks a little like, like he's squinting, like she's kind of angry or something. So I keep the feathers, the black cap off that eye spot. Let me give a little beak there and uh there's like a wing here with some gray feathers and gray feathers and a lighter stripe in the middle so we'll just scribble some feathers on there and that becomes a little scribble bird little black cap chickadee maybe we'll make them on a on a branch here there we go we can just kind of scribble those branches in your branch might be crooked go out and look at some bushes and See, is the branch crooked or straight? Does it fork many times or only have a couple forks? You can kind of get a sense of how these branches look. And there's a little practice chickadee. Now today I've got a different kind of bird. I just went out and filled the feeder and we have a bigger bird. I'm gonna draw this one down on the ground. So, you know, maybe there's a little scratch ground here. And let's see, this one will be, um, we'll give this one maybe about Oh, that's pretty big. Maybe double the size of the chickadee, maybe a little bigger. Maybe it's closer up here. And this is going to be a, a, a black barred uh, blue jay. So I'm going to give this one some, some feathers on a crest here. And a little bigger beak, of course. And um, the, the neat thing about these blue jays, they're so bright blue. I'm going to give an eye here. Because that eye's bigger, I'm going to leave a little bit of white spot in there to make it kind of twinkle. The cool thing about them is they have these great stripes framing their face. So I'm just going to scribble in the black stripe that comes down here to the. You've got a nice round belly. These birds are really pretty round, and I can, since I'm penciling, I didn't even mention that I started penciling just because I wanted to be able to, um, you know, come in and erase some lines here or there and shape my birds a little bit. Last week we were just inking, and this week we'll pencil it and then ink it um, if there's time. Let's see, so I'm gonna bring that wing around. Now the cool thing on these blue jays, these are some of my favorite birds. They're so bright blue, just iridescent blue. The cool thing with them is these bright blue feathers have these amazing stripes. So I'm gonna give them two dark bands, just scribble bands here maybe some wingtips. It's interesting, I've been reading about them. These feathers often have dark ends because it's the coloring, the melanin and the feathers. Um, they say it strengthens the feather. So they'll have these dark ends because that's where the feathers wear out more. And then in here, I'm gonna do like these sort of longer feathers and then these bars across them, sort of striped. And it's bright, bright blue in there. And I'll give it a, uh, well, if it's standing on the ground, its tail is gonna be sort of tucked all together. When they fly, the tail spreads. When they stand, they tuck together. And of course the legs are like, the thighs are up here, the shins are here. And what you're really seeing coming out here are like the, the, the feet bones with little toes on the end. Amazing little toes. But since I'm just kind of nature cartooning, scribbling and, and sketching, I'm just looking for the shapes that define the bird, the actions that define the bird. Oh, I forgot this face here. We have a little bar over those eyes that make it look a little bit fierce maybe. And we're gonna 
sort of gray in those scratch grays. They look like grays. They're bright, bright blue on these amazing blue jays. The cool thing about these blue jays though, the amazing thing about them, at least when, what I've read about them, they say there's no blue in their feathers, right? They, their feathers are colored with a melanin that is actually brown. So how do they have blue when we look at them? Bright, bright blue. It's quite a trick. I, I think we'll do a maybe a special draw about that. It's a structural blue. I'll look that up. I could be wrong about that. I'm, I'm putting a bird feeder in here. Mine's just kind of a domed bird feeder with a rope coming off of it. And we'll make it just full of little dots, which become the bird seed then. Give it a little branch hanging off here. I stuck a little branch through it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do another blue jay here because I had a couple blue jays. Uh, let's see. So we'll give it the, the teardrop shape. They have a little more of a head coming out of the top than the chickadees do, but that's all right. I'm going to keep my birds pretty cartoony, I think. Or pretty scribbly. So I gave it that crest there and give it that beak. And, you know, I like to give myself license. If these birds don't look exactly like the birds I'm drawing, I'm fine with that because really what I'm trying to capture is Oh, look at that facial expression. I'm trying to capture a little of the expression, the action. Focus on the actions. Let's give it that collar coming down. I love scribble drawing, scribble trees, scribble birds. So we'll give it a scribble wing here. We'll give it the two bands of black, the barred stripes between them. If we come back and color this in, that'll be bright, bright blue. Let's give it two little feet sticking out. And I'm just gonna do little ball feet here. Because remember, this is kind of, this is nature cartooning. Scribble birds. This one is about to knock that bird feeder over. So this is the problem here. You know what, I'm gonna go back in. I'm glad I'm doing this in pencil because I can go back in and puff that cheek out a little more. And I'll open that beak. And this bird is just vacuuming bird seed. And maybe I'll add some, um, maybe I'll add some, you know, I didn't mention this, but I'm kind of always putting a mental margin around the edge of my page. I don't want to draw too close to the edge with the really important stuff. You notice how I, I stopped that tail there. I kept the chickadee off the edge here. I stopped the top of the head just before the edge. I don't want to draw anything right out to the edge that has to be in the picture. So I'm going to mention that, put that in here. Because I'm thinking I'm going to add some sound effects. Nom, 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 nom. And maybe a heart. I mean, these blue jays look kind of fierce, but they actually have quite a story how they came to be here, how we all came to be here with these forests. It really depends on them, actually. That I, I was out watching them and I came up with a diary comic idea. I think I'm going to do that separately because right here I'm just practicing drawing them. Nom, 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 nom. And this one is just like also pigging out a little bit. So I can sort of cartoonify those cheeks. Nom, nom, nom. I'll make it moving. Maybe some crumbs falling down. And maybe I do go back to this chickadee now here. Give him a little bit of an angry eye expression. And uh, maybe they're saying, hey, hurry up. I'll put in hey and a little word bubble and a pointer. I always do my words first. And then I do my bubble around it so it always fits. And I kept those words off the margin there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now I've got my chickadee expressing a little um, impatience with these blue jays. I'll just litter the ground. I have a little room for other birds, but I think I wanna keep it pretty simple. This could be a place to write a title or a, uh, a note, if I use this as a note card, like the other chickadee drawings, little chickadee doodles we did, I left space for notes, could use this too. Um, maybe I'll put a little title in here. Blue Jays, uh, and today's uh, Friday, the, uh, what is it, the 11th of December 20, I'll sign it. 
becomes like a little nature journal thing. I have some room for notes too. I can write about the Blue Jays. I can write some things I learn about them and little lines pointing to them. Um, but this is like an observation of those actions that are going on around me and um, sort of trying to catch them as quickly as possible, not necessarily to make a photorealistic picture, but to uh, cartoonify them. You know what I like to do, even just to make, make it clear it's a cartoon, this is a black cap chickadee. So I like to, I've gotten into this, I'll put a little black cap or a, maybe even a little top hat on my chickadees. It's kind of fun to, to, see, them, uh, to, to see them out there and imagine them as these little characters. All right, so I'm going in with my uh, ink now and I'm gonna try, just try, I might not, I might like this better in pencil, but I'm gonna try scribble birding, scribble cartooning with just ink. And to get that gray rough effect, I'm gonna put lots of little lines in there. And my pencil lines are my guides. This is where it brings it out, makes it jump off the page. I'm just using a, a simple, Felt tip black pen here, nothing too fancy. Although I'm thinking for these dark bands, I might get out my water-based black ink marker and put some dark bands on there. They're actually amazing white bands too. Put these banded parts in and that'll look a little grayish because that has more detail and I'll leave the white bands. Quite amazing how these feathers form because the white banded ones aren't as strong on the tips, I don't think. So the, the dark banded ones are the sort of structural tips and the white banded ones are the show tips. They have all these different layers of feathers in there. Just use a simple line on that belly. Maybe the feet I use the thick marker for too because I'm not drawing too much detail. These are cartoony stick figure bird feet. There we go. Oh, don't forget key parts. It's all too easy to look at your characters and forget to do these important parts. Oh, I like the expression that that little beak took as I inked it. It kind of changed just slightly. A little, little piece came up under because this bird is chewing contentedly on seeds scavenged off the ground below this feeder. The, uh, the chickadees come in and they grab the seeds and they have to fly off and eat a seed and then come back. So there's always an opening in the feeder. The blue jays will just set up and just chaw, 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 nom, nom, nom. And uh, nobody else can get in there. All right, I'm gonna keep inking this. Uh, I'm gonna go back out and see who's out there. Maybe do a little more nature cartooning. Bird doodling, birds are great for cartooning practice because they never sit still, at least mine in my yard never sit still. I can go find a sunny patch and watch them and they're like pure constant, well, you can't see that, I'm adding these seeds. They're like pure constant action, which is perfect for cartooning because <laughs> things that sit still, you, you start looking at what they look like. I wanna get what they move like, what they behave like, you know? go back to after having drawn them like this I bet the next time I go back and really look closely as possible at one of these birds I'm going to notice something different like maybe the collar is a little different maybe there's something on the chest here maybe something around the eyes right um there is a little band in here somewhere but I, I'll find that and sketch that again Oh yeah, there is, there is a band right in there, isn't there? That really makes the expression. Okay, all right. But that's why as a cartoonist, I, I keep, re that's why you draw your characters over and over. You get to know them, right? I'll keep, um, I'll keep inking this. We'll see how it turns out. I'll post it over at the Patreon. Um, thank you patrons for making this possible. You can head over to patreon.com slash Merrick Bennett and check out what we have. I'm sending out um, cards. We made these cards during the snowstorm last week. Got some chickadees, got some loon families, um, and they're blank on the inside. So they're useful for sending to your friends around the holidays or for the new year. Um, and I'm sending those out to patrons right now this week, actually. So head on over there and you can check it out. And I'll post the finished inked uh, scribble bird doodle from today. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Nice to draw with you. 
Um, we'll see you next time. Bring a pencil, pen, and you can join in or just draw alongside. Um, oh, we've got a patron Zoom coming up too, Sunday. So head on over to the Patreon and you can join us for an open studio. Bye, everybody. Thanks for drawing with us. Have a good weekend.